welcome, Dame Collette. You've taken over as chairman of the Banking Standards Board. Can I start by asking you why you've done this very brave thing? <laughs> when I was asked to do this, I thought if I can contribute to helping banks get things right for their customers, for all the people that they need to serve in our society, I thought if I can just make a small contribution to that, it's actually the best thing I can think of doing at the moment. And I hope that doesn't sound too pious, but banks are so important in our society that I wanted to be able to help. I think we'd all wish you every success in that because we all need the banks to survive Indeed. and prosper. Not too much, but prosper. You've chosen as your title for your talk, Fixing the Banks. Can regulation, more regulation, be the answer? Do you believe it can? Well, of course, there's regulation and regulation. Mm. The kind of regulation I'm not talking about tonight is the kind that aims to make sure that banks have enough capital to be financially resilient in the event of, of right. difficult events. But the kind of regulation I'm going to talk about is the kind of regulation that influences what people do and how they do it. And what I want to discuss with our colleagues is the issue of how far actually can that kind of regulation go? And where's the point where we have to say, OK, this is our business, our customers, we work here. What happens here is, in the end, our responsibility. No regulator can, in the end, sort of stand over you and say, this is the right thing to do in all circumstances. And that's really the kind of discussion I want to have. Where are the boundaries? When is regulation helpful? And when does the moment come when we say to the regulators, well, thanks very much, that is very helpful. Now we're going to step up to the plate.